well, Dragon Wolf Tamer, if you are mocking the titles of my live streams, you are going to get the job of picking the next one. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Let's get this ball rolling, shall we? Right, I bought this a little while ago, it looks absolutely gorgeous, but I've no idea what this is going to play like. So this is either going to be a lot of fun, or we'll be moving on quickly, one or the other. Is it me or did that tank just turn into a gullen? There, even in war, there can be love. Oh, yes. Right, there we go. We have here the Valkyria Chronicles. Just uh, pause that slightly while I move the window. There we go. Now I can see what everyone's saying. And hello, everyone. Hello, everyone who's uh, jumped on board uh, while that was starting up. Right, this is Valkyria Chronicles. It's made by Sega. It's very, very pretty to look at. It's uh, basically a war game, but a different sort of take on it. It's going to be awfully manga, so probably pretty predictable if you know that sort of thing. Going to play it for a little bit, and then we'll see if we like it. How's that? New game. It's also a bit cheaty, because there's lots and lots of cutscenes, and I get through the entire live stream without having to talk much. The year was 1935 EC. Two powers controlled the continent. In the east, the sun rose over the autocratic... Please note, this is not Europe. Alliance, ...otherwise known as the Empire. In the west, a network of loosely allied democracies formed the Atlantic Federation. Both powers depended on a precious mineral ragnite for their survival, and its growing scarcity led to the inevitable war. Hostilities began in the East when the Empire aggressively crossed their western border. The Atlantic Federation responded, and the Second European War was on. <laughs> Sorry, Dragon Wolf Tamer. <laughs> the Empire, with its vast military superiority, struck hard, gaining ground in early victories and putting the Federation on the defensive. Emboldened by their progress and momentum, the Empire set their sights beyond the borders of the Federation. In neighboring Gallia, a peaceful principality along the sea, they found their next victim. Gallia had long maintained its neutrality in the tensions between the two superpowers. But the rich stores of Ragnite under the Gallian soil proved too tempting. No, this is not going to be a game where you they get to choose the way you start. Along the eastern border and invaded with all the force of an avalanche. 
which is a bad idea because that means you can only ever invade downhill. Right, okay, all right, Twin Hearts. I said I might play Bioshock on my 10 hour live stream. This is not my 10 hour live stream, that will be next Saturday, most likely. Um, and yes, that voice sounds very familiar. I don't know if anyone fancies popping onto uh, uh, Wikipedia or something and looking it up because I think I'd be interested to see. So, right, this seems to be the format of it. Each um, battle is going to be a, page, a couple of pages in this book and it's going to be a number of cutscenes, then a battle, then a closing a cutscene. So, we've just done the first one. Let's do the second one. View this episode. Yes. March, 1935. Outside the Gallian border town of Brule. Residents are leaving the town before the invasion. Headed inland towards the capital. <laughs> Gallia Gullen. <laughs> I haven't been down this road in years. It really hasn't changed very much. Hmm, which is surprising. I was expecting it to turn green. Whoa. Already? How am I interested in Sim CC? There, guys. Surprisingly enough, yes. You're beautiful. Starting early this year. You're heading upstream, huh? Mm. How's the water? I bet he says that to all the fish to get them into bed. Oh, well, have a good time, Minosha. Thanks for popping by. Your hands in the air, slowly. Haven't seen you around before. What's your name? Um, uh, my name's Welkin, and you are the one with the gun. We're with the Bruletown Watch. I'm Alicia, Alicia Melchiot. So, I'm wondering what you've been writing in that little book you've got there. Imperial spies are in the area. Uh, this book is nothing, really. Uh, I was just sketching the fish and, uh, you know... Uh, <laughs> yes, oh, I know. And you know there's a war on, don't you? Yes, how All dare right, you sketch during a war. Artist. We'll talk about fish sketching down at the station. Take him away. Right. On to the next cutscene. Flowers, bugs, and fish. You're not bad with a pen, are you? I have to say, they're really very good. Thank you. So you see, I really was just sketching. Maybe. Or this could be some kind of secret code. Mm, and I intend to take my time finding out for sure. Trout tend to stay still in a running river. They like their dinner to come to them. Welks? Is that you? Isara. You see, that's why he likes fish. He's called Welk. timing is perfect. What have you gotten yourself into now, Welkin? Hello, Mega Racer. Don't you live at the old general's house? That's right. I'm General Gunther's daughter, Isara. You do know everyone's supposed to evacuate, right? Yes, I'm aware of that. My brother's here to help me move to the capital, but that may be difficult. I mean, unless you're willing to let him go, that is. Huh? Oh, <clears throat> oh that's one hell of an ellipsis. I apologize, but I was just doing my job, you know. 
I saw you with the notebook and thought you were a spy. Yeah, but watch it for watch this really first, yeah. Thanks. But don't worry about it. I can see how I might have looked a little suspicious. Wilkes has a real passion for observing nature. That's why he's studying it at the university, right? Guilty as charged. I get so into it sometimes I forget where I am or that somebody might be watching me. <laughs> the traps, they're a code. Gun One fire. if by sea, two if by air. Oh, keep your heads down. Over there. Look, they're peasants. We must kill them. Come on. Through training, anyway. Well, they're probably just a small scouting team. We should be able to take them out. I'm with you. <laughs> now, the thing that's worrying me most is uh, that, that you know, if you look at the picture above there, the picture at the top there, she's carrying a gun, but uh, in the other scene, she didn't have a gun. So I'm just wondering where she stuck it. And answers on a postcard, please. Right, we can save the game. It's probably a good idea at this point because we've done so much. Save. Create new save. That's saved. Excellent. Okay. Right. Okay, so I think we actually start getting to do some actual gameplay now. Okay, Excuse me? here's the plan. We've got to eliminate the Imperial Scouts that are approaching Buell. We'll deploy from here and take out all three of them. Dinner, perhaps. A movie. I don't know. Just cross the bridge and take them down as fast as you can. Well, yes, they're watching my live stream. That's interesting, isn't it? Let's take care of them, one at a time. Nice and easy. Right, so we win if all enemies are defeated, we lose if Welkin or Alicia die, or we take more than 20 turns. Presumably we can sacrifice the third guy, barbecue him, and serve him up on a platter with some nice doilies and nobody's going to care. Let's get started. Just stay calm and get it done. She hit it behind her back. Hmm. Right, player phase. I see three of them. I really must get my eyes checked. That's three too many. Stay sharp. Listen a second. There's something I should explain. Ooh, tutorials, you gotta love them. About command points. When combat starts, you'll see a map of the area and your unit's positions. This is referred to as the command mode. Here you'll select a unit you'd like to move based upon their position relative to the enemy, then press space. Doing so uses up one of your command points displayed at the top of the screen. They reflect your ability as a commander and represent the number of times you can give instructions, i.e. control your units per each player phase. In this battle you have three CP so you can issue instructions to your units up to three times. Let's try moving a unit now. Okay. So right, yes, we do indeed have three command points. We have Welk in the Welk, we have Alicia of, uh, of the Short Skirt, and we have the Town Watchman, which nobody bothered to name, not even his mother. So right, let's start with Welkin. Alright, so about action points. You use CP to select a unit in command mode, you'll be plunged into action, plunged into action mode. Here you can freely move around the units you selected around the field. As you move around in action mode, the action points engaged will begin to deplete. This represents the unit's mobility. Once it reaches zero, the unit will be able to move further further. Keeping on the unit for remaining AP while the motion is critical to keeping them safe. And just in case you had no idea, that's what you've got to go and shoot. Okay. So, mouse move to look around. I think those lines show where the enemies are, and the yellow one is showing the one we can see. That looks alright. Let's try running around a little bit. 
So, about attacking. Press the E button to enter target mode. There, the unit will prepare to attack with a currently selected weapon. Whilst I move the crosshairs, Q and E buttons to snap between targets. Okay. Uh, enemies will not attack while you're in target mode, so take your time to aim well. Your shots will land some within the circle surrounding the crosshairs, so it's best to center it on the entire target. Shots will land to the head, will either or other weak points will result in greater damage. A unit will only attack from target mode once per action, so choose wisely before opening fire. Okay, right. Okay, target mode, E. Well, I think that's fairly lined up. Um, oh, we can move it around with the mouse, which is good. And target that one, target that one, target that one. There we go, and space to fire. Okay, that didn't kill him. The unit with zero remaining action points is already for his attack in target mode. Is unable to act further. Press escape to end their current action. Okay, right. right crouch. There we go. All right, uh, we can't fire with him again. I understand. So all right, let's end his turn, end the current action, and let's get somebody up else up here to shoot. So... Alicia, to end to action with you! Right. So we run up here, we crouch, we go E to go into target mode, So we've got plenty of time left, so let's stand and let's run forward a little bit. About choosing cover. We've worked out how to do that. But we're going to get the cutscene anyway. Okay. Right. Can we get to the cover? Not quite. That was a bit cheaty of them, wasn't it? Okay, so escape to get out the end the current turn. I wonder if we can use her again, because she's right at the front. Um That would make sense, wouldn't it? So right. My turn, okay? Alright, so we oh, yep, yep we can. But she doesn't have full action points, but that's alright, because we only want her to get here. Crouch and target. Now. Got him! Okay, and if we move over here, it's we're under cover from that guy as well. So I think, oh, crouch, I think we need to end the turn. And that's ending the phase for us. Okay, end the current phase. And now the enemy moves. Yes, girls one shot. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, she could shoot as he was moving. That's interesting. Right. So it's the same unit to move multiple times. Yeah, we worked that one out. It can see fewer, fewer AP than the last. We worked that out as well, so we don't need that one. Great. And that gives us three more moves. And yeah, why don't we move the guy at the back when instead we can move Alicia? Who can just go target mode? Oh, just. Okay, so. I think we might as well just go straight back to her and let her finish it off, hadn't we? My turn, okay. Yeah, I think I'll be honest with you. I think making the bullets out of soap was probably a bad idea. Now. There we go, right. Operation complete. 
don't see any more of them. Possibly because I took too many bullets to the head, but never mind. We got a B rank, but we got 200 experience points and 500 ducks, which I'm going to assume is ducats. Oh, what a surprise. A new episode has been added. Let's have a look at this one. Miss Melkiot. There's no other sign of the enemy. Good. Now... Go keep watch and stay alert. Yes, ma'am. Uh, what should we do with the bodies, ma'am? We'll bury them. But no one will ever find them. So it's begun. This never happened, remember? I'll do whatever it takes to protect the people of this town. I'll do it. Even going to war, I'll do it. <sighs> Seeds from the lion's paw. It blooms white, small, simple, and strong. I want to be able to remember, once the war is over, that it wasn't all just people killing people. That even in war, there was also new life. On the 15th day of the third month of the year 1935, the Empire began its assault in earnest. Poor Ernest. A formal declaration of war was made upon Gallia. Though it was only a small front in a massive continental assault, what followed would prove that a tiny nation could best a military giant. These events would tell a story of tragedy hidden in the mists of time. A story of courage and of trust, of persecution and hate. And strangely, of gammon. And of love blooming even through the flames of war. Oh, like that what instead. Follows is a record of this conflict and of those who fought, lived, and died. And sometimes all three. The, apparently the red shirt was stuck stuck at the uh, the bottom there being attacked by a salmon. You might be right. Uh, how long am I going to play this for until we all get bored and decide to go home? Chapter 1. In Defense of Bruel. Bruel. Does, that actually seems more like a Scrabble hand than a, um, a name of a city, really, doesn't it? Right, and oh, look at this. A new episode has been added. On with the cutscenes! Do this episode. Let's go! I'm going to ask you guys every now and again whether you you want me to carry on with this. If we if we decide we're bored with it, then we'll go on to the next game. If not, we'll play some more. But at least let's at least get out the tutorial before we start asking that out. Seeing that old mill spinning again really makes it feel like home sweet home. Hmm. <laughs> I hear that. It really is one of the most beautiful things about this town. That? Good lord. Well, citizens, our enemy can't be far behind. I thank you for your help. Goodbye, and take care. And remember, <laughs> don't mention where the bodies are hidden. Now loading.
How's the packing coming along, Ys? Almost done. I only need to take the everyday basics. Was it me, or did he just slip into a bit of Australian there? How's the packing going, Ys? Well, the Empire's got to be close by. Let's hit the road by sundown. It's true. I'll put another prawn on the barbie while I'm waiting. Martha, look! Wilkes is here! Oh! <laughs> Welcome back, Welkies! <laughs> You're still calling me that? Martha, I'm 22 years old. I just look 12. And more important, you shouldn't be running around. Aren't you due any day now? <laughs> I quite agree with you, Dragon Wolf. There. Dog won't hurt the little spud. I should know. I've already had four of them. <laughs> Jogs. That's Hello a lot of jogging. There. Um, it, is Welkin in? Oh, hello, Alicia. What brings you here? I just wanted to apologize, or before. Um, here. This is for you. Yes, your very own bag full of rocks. Really? These are for me? I work at the bakery. Well, I did until the war started anyway. It's where I live, too. Yep, yeah, right above where they make the rocks. That's preserved bread, so it's pretty hard. Heat it up before you eat it, all right? I baked it myself, so the flavor's guaranteed. Best you ever had. Thanks. Uh, do you want to come in? Yes, while I reheat these weapons. This is an interesting name, isn't it? I like it. Arrested and shot at? <laughs> You've had a busy day of it, haven't you, Welkies? Oh, you don't know the half of it. I know that, not only that, I saw three trout. And what a lovely lady you are for all that adventuring. Good job, Welkies. <laughs> not that we're trying to hint subtly here. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. What? Wait, no, it's not like that. Alicia just saved my skin, that's all. He's right, we just met. I'm not his girlfriend, just a hero. <laughs> I think I like her. <laughs> Although I'm really hoping to be his friend. <laughs> oh, well I'm sure you will. Be good to my Welkies here, won't you? Yes, yeah, so it makes it sound like bunions, doesn't it? If you could just file them down for me, thank you very much. Okay, seriously, Martha, enough with the Welkies already. That's a lovely portrait. Is that General Gunther? No, that is General Gunther. He just likes to sit very still. Yep. It was taken before I was born. But that's Dad. I did, yes. And it's been the bane of my life for many, many years. That's Dad? You're a lucky guy. And who's that with him, there? That's Mum. My father, Tamer. He was an engineer. The General's tank was his creation. Yes, Wait, he also made the General's bathtub. the General was your dad. My birth parents died when I was a baby. No, I think that's really sad. I know what they feel. Uh, I know how they feel. My parents died before I was born. The General was kind enough to take me in as his own after that. Yeah. We're not related by blood, but she's definitely my little sister. Sorry, was that question too personal? Are you going to muscle in on my man? No, I don't mind at all. I was blessed with two wonderful fathers. Yeah, I guess you were, huh? Oh, is that really the time? I've got to get going. <clears throat> Why don't you see her off, Welks? I can take care of the rest of... All right, I will. I'll be right back. See you later, Isara. Safe travels. <laughs>